to be a farmer and make it, you gotta be innovative in order to survive in this industry. You're very dependent on the weather. You're very dependent on what Mother Nature wants to bring you. They kind of said, if you dream it, we can make it happen. So I'm like, well, I got all kinds of dreams, so let's, let's see what we can do. If we lose these farms, we lose our food security. Every time a piece of land goes out of production, it's heartbreaking because we can never replace that land. That land becomes a subdivision. It becomes a strip mall. And to keep these farms here, they have to be economically viable. The commercial side of rural America doesn't have that access to the data and the applications and the infrastructure that could help them become a lot more efficient. The stuff we take for granted is not something that these farmers get to enjoy because in many cases, they're just precluded from access to the internet. What we hope to do here is democratize that technology for farmers. Getting to a point where they can use data to inform a more efficient approach will enable them to be more competitive and ultimately enable them to set up the farm so that they can pass it on to the next generation. Technology can be really exciting, but it's only as valuable as the outcomes, right, that we can help drive for the communities that are leveraging this technology whether it's a small boutique farm, or it's a large commercial farm, or somewhere in between. This project provides the information that they need to be economically viable. So the vision behind what we're doing here is to try to bring together entrepreneurs, industry partners, public and private institutions, and really bring the expertise to solve real world problems. One of the things that we have to do as part of that is to bring growers and farmers who actually are living this every day and have the real problems and start working with technology companies so that you can build solutions that are actually meaningful and will deliver value. In order for the American farmer to survive, we have to improve our efficiencies in our operations. We have to figure out a way to produce more food on less acres. Nature is complex, it's dynamic, it's different every day. There is no industry comparable to farming in terms of the potential volume and effective use of data. But there's also no industry that has been further disconnected from data than farming. We're here to open the door. Snohomish County is a county of about 850,000 people. Uh, we're the next county north of Seattle and King County. We're an extremely diverse county in terms of geographies and industries, businesses and people. Every industry is important, but I can't think of one that's more important than agriculture. It's, it, it's our sustainability. It's one of the industries that has not seen as much innovation from a, a data perspective. And for smaller farmers and for larger farmers, just that access today will have a meaningful impact to their bottom line. Doing it at a rural farm is going to give us an actual set of conditions to test this technology out in and make sure when it does go to market at this scale, we've tested it in a real environment, not just simply in someone's backyard. You look at the brands behind it, they're industry leading, really powerful brands that if they wanted to, could probably try and say, hey, we're going to solve this problem themselves. But actually they've said, actually, if we work together, we solve the problem faster and we solve the problem in a better way. So that, that's pretty monumental. What you're seeing is that combination of big companies and small startups. The big companies have the ability to bring those platforms, to bring capabilities, tools, foundations for innovation. Those are things that many startups don't have. They don't have access to big licenses or platforms or hardware or bandwidth or antennas. 5G oil is really bringing those capabilities to startups. At T-Mobile, we are building a 5G network that'll reach all Americans. But we also know this is something that is much bigger than ourselves. And that's why we're excited to be part of the Food Resiliency Project. It's all about taking the tribal knowledge of the farmer and the technology people. You have to find ways to, to integrate and communicate, building tools and systems to help people who are doing God's work to get this done, and really just making it happen. These technologies are going to power things like smart farms, smart hospitals, smart cars, smart factories. So Microsoft is a big believer in those technologies. But we also know that there's a lot of work to be done, um, and the best way to do that is to get out on the farm, so to speak, and do some real-life test cases. To survive, uh, farms need to be efficient, and that means they need access to the latest technology. 
including, you know, connected solutions. When we talk about farm to table, this is really technology to farm to table. You really complete the circle. When everybody worry about our health, everybody worry about food scarcity. When we started at this 5G Open Innovation Lab, we have this notion that it takes a village. It's a really an entire chain that comes together. This is probably the best way that we can give back to the, to the society. When you look at 5G together with edge computing, uh, these are building blocks that other industries are using. A lot of what we're learning here as far as building a infrastructure, a platform for use case delivery. And those use cases are gonna be across a spectrum of verticals. Whatever we learn here is definitely gonna be able to be applied across other industries. We're out in a, a real county with real farms, building real networks and starting to run real use cases. And I think that's the, the really exciting thing. This is not just a lab exercise. This is, let's get out there, let's just make this work. At the end of the day, it's, it's the good that we do with technology and it's the change that we bring about in the world. And the 5G Open Innovation Lab is that venue. The potential of having technology on your farm and learning from that technology is, is going to be a huge plus for us. Your farmers are the most innovative people you will ever meet. If something's broken, they will figure out how to fix it. And that's really not any different than the technology world. They see a problem and they fix a problem. So it's going to be really exciting to see how these two worlds marry and the respect that we know they're going to have for each other and what they do. It's a very exciting time for agriculture and for technology.